What's up guys, this is Adrian Jr. of Sunset Outdoors and people have recently been asking me how am I catching so many stripers and what do we throw in a boil? So first off you just look at what the striper are eating and where I live here near Lake Mead the, their main food source is shad so we're gonna stick to that so most of these lures will catch you fish of every species year round but we just like to stick to a shad pattern here's a little swim bait I like using this I troll it it gives off like a lot of sparkling and they just they'll go in from far to eat that so these are always the baits that I'll throw first when I get on the water these baits always do good for me to start off the day with I think they're called Boss Shad. You can pick them up at Bass Pro. I think they even sell them at Walmart now. And this is the color I always start off the day with. Now every day the stripers are always looking for something different. So they actually sell smaller versions of these. They might go for that over it. Maybe some days they're looking for white. You never know. And here's actually some lipless crankbaits that I'll throw. Once again they're always just looking for something different. You never know. The uh, cast master, maybe you can have the feathers on the end, maybe not. Maybe a spook or a popper. And something that I've actually recently starting, started to use is a suspending jerk bait. These are actually becoming my favorite very fast. And here's a fluke. Flukes always work good. They just, a lot of people know about them. They're known to work good and for just about everything and maybe something like a Kitek swim bait. Those will work really good. You can use them as trailers on like a chatter bait or just throw a, a jig head on them and cast them around. So here's a, some of the baits that I like to use and we're going to show you guys some boil footage of us using some of these lures so enjoy. Here I like me. Get caught in a boil. Jumping like crazy. Hopefully, you didn't hook onto one or Jake. Oh, fish on. Aiden gets fish on. It's pretty decent size. Oh, Jake got it. Oh, no. Oh, it's a small one. Let that one go.
this for quite a while now. Been boiling, we've been following the same school. You can see by Trolling. We've been trolling for about 20 minutes. They've been, we tried top water and everything because we see Shad, but no luck. We tried casting. So now we're going to try trolling because it looks good. We're trolling at about 20 feet. We use these swim baits. We try to keep them about 10 feet or right off the bottom. Either of those will catch them. We were just trolling some lures. Hooked up. Felt a bite. Just a couple taps, I set the hook, and there's some weight, so. Oh yeah, it's a fish. Oh, he's starting to fight now. It's a nice one. We're seeing shad jump everywhere. Another skinny one, huh? Oh yeah, he's skinny. Yeah, really skinny. We don't like to keep them when they're skinny. Their meat is really like mushy, so it doesn't cook up good or fully good at all. Man, he wanted that. Look at Rick almost tangled him. I got a nice striper. Oh, you got tangled in my line. Yeah. Whenever we do that, yeah, really. Skinny though, they don't taste good when they're that skinny. All right, let them go. Go ahead, go ahead. He's in your line again. 
a smallmouth today. Oh, I got him here. Nice smallmouth. Real healthy. I'm gonna get a release on him. There he goes. Did you hook up? Look at these stripers. Oh my gosh! Look at he has chasers. He has chasers. Pull them around. Pull them around to the side joint. Adrian's bait. Adrian's bait. Oh, they didn't take it. Trolling produced another fish. Lost a nice one earlier, but hooking up pretty good. Must not know he's hooked yet or something. It's small. Oh, it's a nice long one. Oh, it's a nice one. Pick him up over my head. Oh, he's skinny. Damn. Really big, but skinny. Really big fish, and we let him go. He's too skinny. Look at that. They're like unhealthy when they're skinny, so. Get bigger. There we go. Got him. It's a good one. Little striper, he's still kind of skinny. We'll let him go. Yeah. Get bigger. Ow, he bit me. <laughs> <laughs> he bit me on the way out. What the heck? So I hope you guys enjoyed watching those clips. Um, some of them are older, some of them are newer. But if you guys are just new to striper fishing and you're seeing boils, this is the lure I would recommend. It's cheap. You could get a pack of like three of them for four bucks or something like that. They're, I think they're called the Boss Shad. That color, this. Lure just always seems to work good for me. If you're seeing boils, it's almost guaranteed that you'll catch them on this. It's just an absolute monster out on the water. But hope you hope this helps you guys catch more fish. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.